Hello, StarkNet family. Welcome back to the Star Cafe. I'm Nurstar, your personal uh, Star Barista. And once again, we are ready to serve you with some very special uh, StarkNet content. So uh, hello, guys. Uh, I hope you spent uh, a very nice weekend. Today, we are going to have uh, a DeFi Monday as uh, we are going, uh, uh, we are diving deeper into the concept of uh, CLOP which stands for a centralized, centralized limit order book. And for those who don't know it, uh, CLOB is a, a known, uh, a renowned uh, exchange structure that is very uh, famous for its uh, efficiency. And it is a structure that come, comes from uh, the TriFi, uh, the traditional finance world, as opposite to the AMM structure that is DeFi native. However, uh, lately, um, the, there has been uh, there have been some uh, decentralized exchanges that are trying to make uh, uh, the club structures suitable for DeFi, and uh, uh, the guests from uh, uh, of today uh, are coming from uh, Layer Akira, which is one of uh, those exchanges that are experimenting the, experimenting uh, with club on uh, on DeFi. So uh, I'm very uh, pleased to have uh, Nikita and uh, Mikey from uh, Layer Akira. And uh, let's uh, welcome them. Hello, Nikita. Hello, Mikey. And I'm going to uh, add Mikey as well. Hello, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Star Cafe. Hello, Nikita. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> yes. Okay, I managed to uh, open Twitter uh, from browser. I see, very good. <laughs> Yeah, thanks a lot for the patience, and I'm very happy to have you here at the Star Cafe. So let's start with a, a nice breaker uh, about you guys. So you you relatively new in the StarkNet ecosystem, so it would be nice uh, uh, to introduce yourselves to the community, and yeah, tell us a, a bit uh, about your background and also how you 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 began building these projects and also why uh, you chose building uh, on StarkNet. Yep, Nikita, do you want to take this one first? Yeah, okay. So uh, from my side, what's my experience? So I'm working as an infra developer in uh, stealth trading firm uh, uh, in high frequency trading uh, and in defi trading uh, as general. Uh, so about like much, much previous background, I was... When I was a student, I did some R&D in JetBrains lab uh, regarding parallel algorithms and parallel computing. Uh, so I um, uh, developed infra site for HFC system, also some internal tooling for NFT trading. And um, because we are doing uh, high frequency trading, uh, we want to uh, broad our trading to uh defi uh exchanges but we want to want to have similar sex experience so in this way we can apply uh our trading strategies uh in the defi world because uh if you need to think about cancellations and creations orders on chain it's kind of uh, introduced frictions to your trading and your experience as overall so this is from my side. Fair enough. Thanks a lot, Nikita. And uh, what about you, Mikey? Yeah, so I'm Mickey. Um, so I actually started my career as a commercial lawyer in the IP tech space. And I got into crypto at around 2020 during the NFT boom. And I've been, um, I've helped with the marketing side of several NFT projects during this period and have always, my experience has always been on the Ethereum network. So I'm a huge ETH maxi. Um, I was taking a career break earlier this year and got connected with a Akira team who are looking to expand their non-technical team. So right now I'm helping with the marketing and managing the Twitter account for Leia Akira. Uh, very good, uh, Mickey. And uh, so guys, let's start a bit with uh, the technical part or uh, at least with the part that is uh, dedicated to Leia Akira. So first of all, before um, you know, speaking about uh, Layer Akira in, in the details, I would love to, to have like a, a brief introduction about the concept of uh, club in general. 
So also it would be nice to know what makes a club different than a, a, an automated market maker. Yeah, I can give a brief introduction to this and then maybe Nikita, you can jump in with the more technical side. Mm -hmm. So at a very high level, a club is essentially a order matching system where buy and sell orders are consolidated and um, buyers and sellers are connected based on price and time. So this isn't huge in the DeFi space at the moment. It's currently still being dominated by AMMs, but it is a very well-established mechanism in traditional finance, um, especially to trade stocks. So from an AMM perspective, um, I guess I'll give a brief introduction on this as well. This has dominated in DeFi because it's the perfect solution for liquidity environments because liquidity is um, pooled and that means that anyone can provide liquidity and anyone can come in and buy at an automatic price. But the benefit of the order book is the ability for price certainty. So it means that you can set limit orders and stop orders. So you can be sure that you're buying an asset at a price that you wish to buy it at without that sort of uncertainty in the AMM model. Um, yeah, I'll hand it over to you, Nikita. Um, I guess generally that's all. If you need some technical details, I guess we, uh, Club provides more verbose approach how you can trade and especially this is especially useful for trading firms so they provide better uh, price efficiency for all uh, market participants while on amm it's kind of a toxic environment for market makers which actually uh, prevent uh, many uh, trading firms uh, trade on uh, amm basically yeah, uh, I agree with you, uh, Nikita. And uh, yeah, there's been a lot of uh, discussions about, uh, you know, the uh, about uh, the club model being uh, more efficient than, uh, you know, the the AMM one. Also, because as you were saying, uh, uh, having a, a club eliminates problems such as high slippage and uh, stuff like that. That uh, becomes uh, very uh, that become very uh, visible and and bad once uh, there is a lot of congestion as well. And um, yeah, you, you like you went out of uh, the stealth phase as uh, as the uh, layer uh, Akira a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I wanted to know how did you come out with this project. So what is the the vision of layer Akira? And I also read in your presentation uh, in, in your introductory thread that uh, you uh, you're partnering with a, a very big uh, centralized. Uh, market maker and uh, I wanted to know if we could know the name of, of him uh, of, of them and uh, yeah so tell us a bit about uh, the, the layer Akira's uh, vision guys yeah so I guess talking a bit about our product so our vision is to build a club um, on the Starknet um, ecosystem so at the moment, we're building it as a hybrid model where it is um, half on-chain, half off-chain. So all funds, deposits and withdrawals will happen on-chain, but the matching engine will occur off-chain. Um, the reason for this design, and I guess the reason why there aren't a lot of clubs in um, DeFi generally, is because that when with a fully on-chain model, there leads to a lot of issues in terms of network congestion, just because there are so many transactions that need to be processed. So our workaround for the design is to move the matching engine off chain so that the um, network doesn't get bottlenecked. Um, and another benefit of um, this hybrid model is that all order creations and cancellations can occur gas free. Um, so our goal is to provide Starknet with the deepest liquidity. And this is made possible, as you mentioned, because we are incubated by a large market maker in the space. Um, in terms of who that market maker is, unfortunately, we uh, cannot reveal that. Uh, so it is anonymous at this stage, um, but they are incubating and investing in the project. So from day one, when we launch, they'll be providing liquidity on Layer Kira. And is there anything else you want to add, Nikita? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so um, from our vision, we need to make it uh, trading uh, for people, either for uh, usual retail or for professional trading firms, as shallow as possible. So in a way that for them, there will be no difference 
either they trade uh, on our hybrid hybrid uh, club or on Binance. Because, for example, uh, if we do uh, fully on chain, uh, it means that they need to interact with the blockchain itself, and and this is uh, additional parts to your trading mechanics, and. In area when uh, one bug cause, can cause you twenty million dollars suffer, it's additional parts uh, kind of harm uh, your overall experience. Plus, yeah, uh, important stuff. It's uh, network congestions because once you have volume, uh, because uh, market makers tend to create large amount of uh, of orders and they either create or cancel. This will just uh, put whole uh, network uh, in congestion state, and this is not what uh, users uh, want either of our uh, system or of uh, blockchain, aka Starknet. In this case, we will be uh, we will be banned, I think, uh, on Starknet if we do this way. Awesome! Yeah, this concept of uh, hybrid uh, club. Is very inspiring, and I wanted to know, like, uh, uh, how does the on-chain side uh, uh, communicate with the off-chain one? Are you planning to use uh, uh, any kind of oracle? Do you need an oracle for that, or like, uh, are you planning to experiment with uh, stuff like uh, storage proofs? Uh, what's like the communicating uh, channel that you are going to use in order to connect uh, the on-chain side with uh, the off-chain one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can take uh, here and uh, describe. So uh, basically, on MVP stage, we will just perform so-called let's call let's call it roll-up. So uh, we have a smart contract on Starknet that uh, uh, on roll-up validate all happen trades. So basically, we just uh, uh, some trades happened on our matching engine. We gather say one hundred trades and uh, put them in uh, our batch and execute them uh, on uh, in transaction pushing this to our smart contract smart contract uh, verify and guarantee that all trades are correct uh, and in this way uh, updates of balances of user happens happening so this is for mvp stage uh, but this uh, on long term it's not also not scalable because uh, if we prefer we are aiming for uh, high volume, and high volume means a lot of trades. And eventually, uh, either uh, Starknet will provide more gas for block, so we can fit more trades in block, or we just use uh, up chains and basically provide proofs. So uh, our goal is provide fairness uh, and validness. And fairness is very important because uh, everybody knows uh, bad experience with some uh, 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 centralized exchanges when uh, user users uh, lost money or there is some front running uh, like uh, they put uh, right people uh, in order book so they got filled uh, always first. Uh, we want to avoid this and provide uh, full transparency over this with some uh, some uh, some algorithms and some ideas. So yeah, something like this. So basic uh, in this way, uh, cancellations, creations, order, orders are fully on chain. So users won't pay anything for this. Uh, they only pay. Uh, like on centralized exchanges, uh, takers, makers fee, and additionally, takers will pay for gas as they do for uh, when they do, do swaps on AMN or any other DEX. So in this way, uh, uh, users from centralized exchanges have experience like on sexes, uh, users of uh, AMM have same experience as they create on AMM. So basically a win-win situation for both worlds. Well understood, uh, Nikita. Yeah, this is very uh, exciting. So you're trying also to uh, to convert a lot of uh, things and characteristics uh, into this hybrid model, taking also some characteristics from uh, the AMM world. 
And um, yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how uh, Layer Akira will develop uh, in the coming months. And uh, for the listeners uh, out there, I posted uh, uh, the introductory thread from the Layer Akira team uh, on the comments below so that you can learn more about them. And as we transition towards the end of this Star Cafe, uh, I don't want to put too much, too much pressure on you guys because you, you are a very young team and you just went out of the stealth phase uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, I just would like to know if you could share a bit more about your roadmap, when we'll be able to, to see you on testnet, for example, and stuff like that. Yeah, I can speak a little bit about the roadmap and then Nikita can give some insight into testnet and timing. Um, in terms of the layer Akira vision, so we're currently developing Akira as an infrastructure layer. So this means that um, it will allow dApps and consumer facing products such as wallets um, and aggregators to plug into the order book and have access to our liquidity, which interacts with our backend. Um, in time, we'll also look to um, find ways to incentivize third party front ends to build on top of us and earn fees for routing trades to us. Um, we're looking to launch the product with one exclusive launch partner to prove that order book liquidity is better than even V3 AMMs at this stage. So our goal here is to attend the StarkNet Hack House in Istanbul and work on building our first integration. So we're currently still seeking partners for this. Very good, Miki. Thanks a lot for that. And um, yeah, also, Miki, I think you're the right person to tell all the listeners uh, where they can go if they want to learn more about Layer Akira and also if there are any channels where contributors could, uh, could help you out with, uh, with some tasks and contributing uh, to Layer Akira. Yes, so currently all forms of communication is best through Twitter. So we're still trying to um, think of ways on communicating with the community broadly. But um, in terms of learning more about us, definitely reach out to us on Twitter. If there's something that we haven't posted, just shoot us a DM. We're really happy to answer any questions about that. And um, yeah, I think if Nikita, you had anything to add? Uh, yeah. Uh more technical details right mm -hmm. now we finalizing uh, fee mechanics and also providing a way for compliance with aggregators so it will be more like uh, uh, should I say? yeah okay but basically it will be like uh, front ends might earn uh, a, a fees uh, they so uh, exchange takes uh, takes uh, take your fees, and uh, if uh, let's call front let's uh, name those front ends who direct orders to our uh, exchange as routers. Those routers who uh, who uh, direct uh, take your orders to us will earn part of take your fees uh, on exchange. So it's kind of a win-win situation for both parties because we, uh, for retail, we provide uh, uh, best prices and um, routers earn some reward for this one. And everybody uh, earns something, yeah. I see, uh, Nikita, do you want, do you mean that like there will be some uh, rewards for the, the traders or like uh, are you saying that this is the way how layer Akira will make money from the process? So basically like on uh, centralized exchanges, uh, you have uh, taker fees and maker fees. Maker fees uh, for the ones who provide passive orders and taker fee for those who uh, execute market orders. Uh, and uh, when we speak about uh, compliance with aggregators, on aggregators, usually, uh, people usually just uh, perform occasional swaps. So they are uh, creating uh, market orders. And in this sense, uh, they will be eligible for paying for taker fees and for gas. Uh, and those taker fees that deducted from a uh, user uh, part of this we can just share uh, with routers. So it's like uh, promoting. 
So in this sense, uh, Olayar Akira sharing some profits uh, from uh, trades without, without, without harming uh, price for users. Very well, uh, Nikita. Uh, so let me see if there are any questions from uh, the listeners. And yeah, if you, if you guys uh, want to uh, ask uh, Nikita and uh, Miki for some questions about Layer Akira, feel free to, uh, to do that. And let me see if you write some comments below. Uh, not the case. Let's wait for a couple of seconds to see if there are any questions. Yeah, but it seems uh, there are none. So uh, first of all, I would love to thank Miki and uh, Nikita for taking uh, some of their precious time to be here with us at the Star Cafe and to introduce to us uh, uh, Layer Akira, which is a very innovative uh, uh, decentralized exchange, which is gonna use uh, uh, the centralized limit order books. And uh, we're very excited to see how their future developments uh, will, uh, will look like. And uh, I would also like to wish you all the best at the upcoming uh, hackathon in, uh, in Istanbul, where I'm sure you will, you will be doing uh, a lot of uh, great things. And uh, yeah, I wish you all the best and thanks a lot for, for having come to the Star Cafe. Great, thanks very much for having us. Yeah, thank you for your time. My pleasure, guys. And uh, thanks a lot to all the listeners. And um, yeah, it's now time to close out the Star Cafe. Remember to share the StarkNet vibe and see you the next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Miki. Bye. Nikita. Take care. Bye. Thank you.